Hello, today I want to talk about the black church Obamites, the black gospel singer Obamites. I've done videos before of the just general Obamites, but I wanted to do a video on the so called black leaders, black preachers, black churches, uh, black gospel singer Obamites. First of all, it's not all that much of a surprise that the majority of black people voted for Barack Hussein Obama because he's a Democrat. Black people have been voting for the, and I call them Democrats now, black people have been voting for them in droves for a long, long time. I think it's usually ranged between 85 to 90 percent, and I think I've heard where it was 95 percent this past election. But it's very, very, very high, and they have been voting for these Democrats for a long time in such large numbers. And uh, it just happened so that this time they got a so-called black one uh, with dark skin in the White House this time. So I guess this time was just like icing on their cake. Uh, they usually vote for these Democrats anyway. But by the way, um, I guess most people have forgotten that many of these so-called black politicians and leaders, they said that Bill Clinton was the first black president. Um, the truth is Bill Clinton when you think about it he may have more black slave blood in him than Barack Hussein Obama because Barack Hussein Obama his mama was white and his dad daddy was a, a black Arab from East Africa uh, Barack Hussein Obama did not come from uh, a black African slave and if you look at him he does look more Arab than he does black or white but these people are ignorant. They don't care. They're just looking at the color of the, man, the man's skin. And now, like I said, they vote for these wicked Democrats or Democrats in droves all the time. They've been doing it for a long, long time. It's nothing really new. Okay, let me get back on subject now. But uh, this is uh, about the black church Obamites. Now, this is some footage. You may have already seen it of some black churches the night of the election in which Barack Hussein Obama was announced the winner but I've also wondered like how is it they, that these people can be so blind and so deceived these are church people these are the very people who should be warning other people they should be the ones who um, discern evil and warn other people but yet they're the ones who are deceived or have been deceived and I was thinking how is it that these people can be so blind uh, part of it uh, Barack Hussein Obama is very crafty very shrewd and he used techniques to mesmerize people and a lot of people are um, easily uh, led or easily deceived but some of it also, I went back and checked on some articles and Barack Hussein Obama started with big name preachers and gospel, black gospel singers uh, and that brought in a bunch of sheeple to follow them. Barack Hussein Obama had big name black gospel singers like B.B. and C.C. Winans, Donnie McClurkin, Yolanda Adams, Fred Hammond, Hezekiah Walker, Mary Mary, John P. Key, uh, Marvin Sapp, um, just many, many people. Uh, they had T.D. Jakes with his wicked self and many, many other so-called black leaders and teachers and gospel singers. Now, check out these guys in church doing the jungle boogie for wicked pro-abort and pro-homosexual rights Barack Hussein Obama in a church but I, I found this art these articles and I'm going to go over some of these with you that I found of these big name gospel singers supporting Barack Hussein Obama this is the main article that I'm talking about it is from the Christian Post dated October 18 2007 and it says Obama to throw star powered gospel music concerts and this was called his so-called Embrace the Change Gospel Series. It says, Pre Presidential Hopeful 
Senator Barack Obama is pulling out all the stops in his effort to appeal to religious voters uniting top gospel artists later this month for a weekend concert series on his campaign trail. And it lists here uh, a bunch of the names uh, that I had uh, named before of these big time gospel singers um, singing on the campaign trail for the pro-abort, pro-homosexual rights Barack Hussein Obama. Now you gotta hand it to Barack, Barack Hussein Obama. He is very clever and from the get-go way back in 2007 in the beginning he put together um, a bunch of black gospel singers and black uh, Christian leaders to bring in uh, black folks by deception and he is talking about in this article that he wanted to quote share his family values and his faith and this man is not a Christian he is not a born-again Christian there are many videos on YouTube showing where he mocks the Bible he mocks the Old Testament also um, he mocks Jesus Sermon on the Mount um, there's also videos showing where he doesn't believe uh, that Jesus is the only way to, to, to heaven this man is not a born-again Christian and he has duped these so-called Christian leaders uh, into supporting him and I guess some of them apparently they know that this man was a pro-abort he's a Democrat which is synonymous with pro-abortion and with homosexual rights but these people don't care these so-called black leaders and preachers but I can tell you right now uh, I will not buy any more of these so-called black gospel singers music not again I will not buy any more of these people's music um, it's just terrible that they do not have enough spiritual discernment um, that they would just follow this man knowing that he's a democrat uh, and taking his word that he's a Christian when any research about it would you know show otherwise and I have a couple other articles that uh, shows what happened after Barack Hussein Obama's election this article is about Shirley Caesar so-called pastor uh, on the day after not the day but the weekend at church after the election she made some comments praising Obama and saying that God had quote vindicated black folk with the election of Barack Hussein Obama and this is some so called pastor uh, supporting the wicked Barack Hussein Obama and it just shows me again where these people have no uh, spiritual discernment at all and I knew that Shirley Caesar was no good from way back um, during Bill Clinton's presidency uh, I saw her on some show she was taken up and defending wicked Bill Clinton and his lies and dealings with Monica Lewinsky and molesting um, Paula Jones and all the other women that he molested and I knew this woman was no good she has a great singing voice but no spiritual discernment at all this is the last news article that I have to share with you real quick. Uh, this is Angelo and Veronica who performed at Obama's inauguration celebration. Now there were many other again uh, so-called Christian gospel groups that performed at Barack Obama's inauguration in his campaign. Um, but again it just shows you how these people have no spiritual discernment at all. Many of them they may be just hirelings just going and seem to uh, whichever group would give them money uh, but these people Angelo and Veronica they shared the stage with crooked Al Sharpton and Barack Hussein Obama had many wicked people at, at that inauguration too people like Beyonce who was a sick and disgusting uh, W-H-O-R-E um, and it was just many wicked people had uh, the uh, blatant open homosexual uh, clergy who uh, said a prayer for him at one of those events but this is just it just shows how these people have no spiritual discernment at all and this is a way a big way that 
Barack Hussein Obama was able to uh, have many so-called Christians and religious black Christians to um, support him and vote for him uh, he drew in a lot of people with these phony black gospel singers and preachers and teachers thank you for listening <laughs>